جرنی That the Prophet took from Makkah to Medina. Seven to ten days. During these people, some of the ayat were revealed and they are included in the surah. Otherwise, most of the surah is Makki. And these ayat which we are reading now, they are from among the ayat which were revealed during the journey from Makkah to Medina. Inna Allah yudafi'u anil lazina amanun. Because after Hijrah, you know, The armed conflict between the believers and the non-believers was to start. That, that stage of the struggle of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where jihad was now to be converted into qital fi sabirillah. So for this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making a promise beforehand. Inna Allah yudafir anil lazina amanu. Verily, Allah will defend those who believe in him. Inna Allah la yuhibbu kulla khawwan in kafoor. Allah doesn't like those people who are treacherous and ungrateful. These Quraysh are treacherous, ungrateful. They have made this Kaaba a center of idolatry, which was built by Ibrahim and, and Ismail as a center of Tawheed. So actually Allah doesn't like them. Now Allah will help the believers against them. <laughs> Permission is being given to those on whom war has been forced because they have been wronged. So many people forced to flee from Makkah, to leave their homes and hearts and families even, leaving families at the mercy of the wolves of Makkah. They are going. Why? Because they were not allowed to live there and worship one God. So, till this time, they were commanded not to retaliate. Take the persecution, whatever they may do to you, verbal pers- persecution or physical persecution. You take it, but don't retaliate. As if the hands of the believers were tied up. Kufu adiyakum. Keep your hands tied. But now your hands are opened. Ozena lil ladhina yuqataluna bi annahum zulimu. Because they have been wronged. Wa inna allaha ala nasrihim la qadir. And definitely Allah is powerful to help them. Al ladhina ukhriju min diyarihim bi ghairi haqqin. Those who have been expelled from their habitations and places without any crime of theirs, without any fault of theirs. What had they done to anybody? But they were forced to leave Makkah. Illa an yaqulu rabbun Allah. Their only crime was that they said, we believe only in one Allah. Our Lord is Allah. Wallawla dafu Allah in nasa ba'zahum bi ba'zin. And had Allah not been removing certain people Through certain people, then the monasteries and the churches, وَصَلَوَاتٌ and the synagogues, وَمَسَاجِدْ and mosques, in which يُسْكَرُ فِي حَسْمُ اللَّهِ كَسِيرًا Name of Allah is mentioned. They would, they would have been demolished. They, had been, they would have been pulled down. وَلَيَنْصُرَنَّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَنْصُرُهُ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely help those who are helping Him. It is his deen. Whosoever is striving to make his deen supreme, he is helping Allah. And it is the mission entrusted to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to make the deen of Allah supreme. So whosoever, whosoever believer is striving for that cause, he is the helper of Allah and the helper of the messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah says, it's my duty, it's on me. That I must help those who are helping me. وَلَيَنْصُرَنَّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَنْصُرُهُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا قَوِيٌّ عَزِيزٌ Verily, Allah is strong, mighty. الَّذِينَ إِمَّا كَرْنَاهُ فِي الْأَرْضِ Now, this ayah can be said to be the manifesto of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. When he was going towards Medina, it was as if he was going to take the charge. He was to become an informal ruler of Medina. He was entering as a ruler because both the tribes of Khazraj and Aus, the most of the chiefs of these tribes, they had accepted Islam. They are now believers. They have invited Muhammad to come here, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
that covenant was made in the Bayat Akbar Saniya. So here now the conditions are going to change. At Makkah, they were weak. They were small in number. So they couldn't do anything. Only privately uh, worshipping Allah. Only bearing the hardships from the kuffar. Only continuing in giving the dawah to the people. But now they have the government, so to say, the authority they, will have, they have in their hands. So now what will they do? If they get the authority, what will be the attitude? Allazina immakkannahum fil ard. Those whom if we establish in the land, aqamu salah. Number one, they will establish prayers. That is why the first ever work and task that Muhammad undertook sallallahu alayhi wasallam after reaching Medina was the building of the mosque to start and establish the center of prayer, which is the central pillar of Islam. zakata, And then they will pay zakah so that for the poor, there is a social security. Nobody goes hungry because now the rich people are paying and contributing towards the needs of the people who are not well off, who can't, you know, stand on their own feet. وَأَمَرُوا بِالْمَعْرُوفِ And they will enjoin whatever is good. عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ And they will forbid from whatever is bad and indecent. وَلِلَّهِ عَاقِبَةُ الْأُمُورِ And definitely to Allah belongs the final results of all the matters. وَإِنْ يُكَذِّبُوكَ Now, these are the ayat which I said that they were revealed during the journey from Makkah to Medina. Now, the rest is the same, the Makki Surah. When you cast the Mukha, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if they are belying you, فَقَدْ كَذَبَتْ قَبْلَهُمْ قَوْمُ نُوحٍ وَعَادٌ وَسَمُودٌ وَقَوْمُ إِبْرَاهِيمٍ وَقَوْمُ لُوتٍ وَأَصْحَابُ مَدْيَنَةٍ وَكُزِبَ مُوسَى Before you, so many messengers were belied, rejected, mocked at. The same was the condition with Nuh. Then with the same was the behavior of the nation of Ad and that nation of Samud, then the nation of Ibrahim, then the cities where Lut was sent, and then Ashabu Madian to whom Shaib was sent, Wakazabkuzba Musa, Musa was also belied, Fabla to Lil Kafirin. But then I gave respite to the disbelievers, to the rejectors of the faith. Summa Khastuhum. And then I seized them. So how was my punishment? What was the anjam? What was the result? End of the people of Nuh and people of Hud and people of Saleh and people of Shoaib and Firaun and his hosts and all those. So this thing will happen here also. How many a townships is there? Whom we destroyed. zalimatun, And they were the evil doers. Now they are down on their roofs. And there are so many wells which are lying empty, ruined. Mashid, So many palaces, lofty. But nobody is there to live in them. Go and see the palace in Granada. Go and see the mosque at Kartaba. Who is there? None. Who lived there? No traces now. So there are. Go to the dwellings of Samud. In you know about a hundred miles north of Medina. They carved out beautiful houses, big halls in the rocks, in the mountains. A beautiful planning. And it is at least 5,000 years from this time. One of the earliest civilizations, Aad and Samud, one of the earliest civilization on this earth. Afalam yasiru fil ard. So have they not traveled in the in the land? Fatakuna lahum kolubun yaqiruna biha. And there should have been for them the hearts with which to understand and ponder. Awa azanun yasmauna biha. Or ears with which to hear. Fainaha la tamal absar. Because these eyes don't go blind. Actually, the hearts 
which are in the breasts and chest. They go blind. Abu Jahl was not blind of this eye. Abu Lahab was not blind of these eyes. He had very big, very prominent eyes. He was a very beautiful person. His, you know, nickname was Lahab. Why? Because he was just like a, a you know, live fire coal, coal fire. Just like that. Very bright color, white and red, and very big eyes. So these are not go blind, but the blind becomes the heart. <laughs>